Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and after our victory over the Biters last time, uh, I'm feeling pretty good. We did slightly die, but that's okay. We came back to life as per the mechanics of the game. We retrieved our body and all the stuff and all the things, and we're back in business. So one of the things I was thinking about is putting out some steel furnaces. Um, steel furnaces are really, really good because they enable us to use half the coal per smelt uh, and they work at twice the speed. Now normally what you would do is upgrade the entire smelting column with red belts but that also means that you need to have a red belt amount of miners and we don't actually have that. Uh, we have very very little production uh, in this kind of thing and oh my gosh we're actually short over here we need to um, get some more ore in this side because it is running short. So uh, because we're a, a little bit limited, I want to get trains up and running. We have a couple of uh, patches that we can get going. But before that happens, I definitely want to get uh, oil. Oil. We did liberate this oil over here, which is exciting. We um, And we'll probably, it's quite far enough for a train. So we're going to get our train system set up in the next few episodes. Get oil. And that means we can get blue science. Um, but let's start with a couple of base things first. So I picked up a bunch of the steel smelters, steel furnaces. And what I want to do is I want to upgrade these places. I don't want to upgrade the inserters of the power pole. So we're going to just tune this, uh, upgrade planner to do certain things for us. We just want to upgrade from the furnace stone to furnace steel and this is going to look really weird but we're just going to do half the array so we're going to do 24 okay and we're going to start that from the very beginning of the array where the ore comes in over here so we'll go 24 let's see and 20 and that's 48 so that's like half of our steel furnaces that we have because if you think about it since we don't have a red belt coming in this yellow belt is going to easily just use those furnaces and that's going to be it now the only problem is if we're not using enough production these guys are going to work anyway but Anyway, this is probably the most efficient way of doing things. Once we get uh, more of the production used, it's not going to be an issue. We could, in fact, uh, upgrade the entire set, but I think it's kind of more important just to do some at a time since we don't have unlimited furnaces. Yeah, we only have <laughs> 128 left. Apparently, I had picked them up earlier and I forgot about it, so... <laughs> We might just do that, but if you're running low on them, that is, that's kind of the way to do it. So let's see, we can go, let's just pick up, here we go, 24, go and straight down. All right, nice. Boom, very nice. But it's nice with the upgrade planner because you can do things very deliberately, very carefully, and very specifically. Now notice that we have more stone furnaces that are kind of coming out of our ears now. We can use that to make more electricity, which we should definitely check on, by the way. And um, yeah, that's going to be important to, to sort out very shortly. So let's see, 28, 26, 24. I'm just going to drag that across that way. I don't know if we'll have enough. Let's see. Maybe might. We might. We might. We might not. Okay, we don't. That's okay, though. But we used what we had, so that's important. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and dump the rest of the ammo into our little ammo chest here. So it can fill those things in case some biters come a-calling. You never can tell. They might. Right, take all that. I don't really use my SMG. I always forget to fire. I'm much more concerned with dodging. You know, WASD all the way. I don't really care about personal weapons. So, anyway. In fact, maybe it's better to do the ones at the end of the array. Because the ones at the beginning, um, these guys always fill from the end of the belt. So maybe that was a bad strategy there. Maybe it's best to just do the ones from the end if your belts are not moving. So anyway, do what you like there. Uh, we have solar panels, but we can't really use them until we get accumulators. And those are part of batteries, which is part of the oil chain. Now then, I'm going to put some 
some stuff back in chests because we really don't need this many walls. I feel like we have way too many. Um, let's just take that down. Put a few back. We might, we actually might need some of those walls. I don't know. Let's look at power. These guys are at half power output right now, but we're going to need a lot more for, uh, for getting all the oil stuff going. Oh, what is this? Oh, naughty. Biter base revealed. I think that's probably because of our radar placed out there. It's revealing this. Um, yeah. Like three chunks away from pollution currently. Darn it, why are the biters always coming over here? Anyway, let's see. We can have uh, up to 20 of these on a... Yeah, that's actually a full line. So what we could do is just copy this whole thing and put it on the opposite side, like these, like these, perfect, except for that, that, um, this, wait, how did I walk through this? Oh yeah, you, that's right, you can walk through that, but you can't walk through the pipe. Yeah, of course, of course, yep. Game logic, hi game, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, nice. Anyway, whatever. We're gonna disconnect this momentarily while we paste this blueprint back down. I want to be prepared when we finally get some more stuff going on. So we're going to just handcraft all these things, which is fine. Okay, so 5, 10, 15, 20. And this is going to use up our boilers. Oh, well, we can do 20 of these off the bat. Nice. All right, but we do need more iron. That's for darn sure. Let's go ahead and place this there. And this one here. And that way we can connect our power up again. And we're going to need a ton of iron. So we need 40 of those steam engines. This is one thing I don't like automating. And I don't know why. I think it just feels like a bother. Like you don't really use it for that long. 5, 10, 15, 20. Okay. And then 5, 10, 15, 20. So we have all together. We're going to have 20 of these. 20 boilers and 40 steam engines and then we need one offshore pump as well there it is and then probably a tiny bit of uh, piping actually what we should have done we should have gone to the mall and picked up these pipes instead of handcrafting it but since this is not an emergency i don't actually care but in the mall there is a box here with pipes which is right here which i would have had pipes in there if i had made a filter inserter which apparently I didn't pick up either. <laughs> so, whoops. Anyway, let's just drop that off. There we go. We're getting the pipes. Hooray. Uh, I do want to pick up a couple of these, though. And we can get some regular pipes. Um, but that doesn't retroactively go into your craft. So if you wanted it to apply to the current crafts, you'd actually have to put it in there. Uh, or you'd have to cancel the recipe and then redo the, the handcraft. But in any case, let's go and do some stuff here. We can get the next weapon shooting speed. Not really necessary because we don't have any enemies anymore. Uh, we kind of killed them all. Um, but what we want to do is get the next levels of um, oil production. We want to get chemical science. That's really important because blue science is kind of the gateway to everything like proper robots, um, everything else like robots and more robots. I like them. Construction robots are my favorite thing in the whole game. But they also have lasers locked behind blue science. And that means laser turrets. Laser turrets are great. They are fun. We love them. So we want to get blue science. Let's go ahead and grab this as soon as possible. We'll grab our plastics. So we'll start that one. That's going to give us plastic bars. That's also from oil. We're going to get sulfur processing. Start that. That's going to give us sulfuric acid and sulfur crystals, both of which are intermediate products we're going to need for stuff. That's plastic is also an intermediate product. And then we also need, let's see, what do we need? Um, it was this chip. There we are. Advanced electronics. That gives us red circuits. Um, this is an interesting thing. I don't remember if all of this was researchable before blue before. I uh, guess it was. It was. That's right. Um, but anyway, it just feels interesting. So this is um, another intermediate product, which we're going to make all of these things in time. And don't worry, we're going to go over everything step by step. 
and then we can get blue science. And then after that, we can also get, uh, let's get weapon shooting speed or flammables. We could get flammables. That opens the gateway to getting flamethrowers. Um, rocketry, <laughs> including the Spider-Tron. Hi. <laughs> Waves shyly. And rocket fuel, of course, for space science. But that's a long, long way away. So we'll get this anyway. And then afterward, we're going to get the weapon shooting speed. Now, one thing that I noticed is that we're kind of running out on the research for gray science. And one of the things that we can do is... Remember that we made gray science to run at like half the rate of any other science. And it's going to take a while. It will eventually fill up the belt as long as we're not using it. But we can actually make that even better by doing something um, temporary. We're going to do something temporary here. Um, and I need, actually I need filter inserters, so I'm going to go and grab some from the mall. I'm grabbing them because we're having this massive crafting queue of, uh, boilery stuff, which I guess I could have set up a machine for that or something. I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, put those there. We have them. We are, we even have them on the hot bar. How could I be ignoring them for so long? The sadness is real. Uh, all right. Anyway, we're going to grab these guys and put them in a box. And then we can put them back on the belt. So remember that filter inserters are the same as fast inserters in terms of speed. So this is going to just grab up the... Um, where is it? Science. There we go. Gray science. Put them in the box. And then... This one's going to output them again. Remember to output them on the same side, by the way. <laughs> That's kind of important or else you could get the whole thing jammed. I'm going to let this run until it's, um, I don't know. Yeah, sure. Three, three whole things full. That's fine. Three rows. And then I'm going to plan on blue science on the other side here. But we don't actually have blue science yet. Now, I want to check on our mall and see if we're actually building things like railroad tracks or if that's something that we need to make sure and... Oh dear. This ran out of chips, didn't it? Well, that's inconvenient. Apparently I moved something or something happened. At times. Confusion. All right. All right. Get that over there so we can get these green chips along the way. Because I'm sure that stuff is suffering without them. Now, I think... Yeah, there we go. We have lots of railroad tracks already, which is fantastic. So I think the other thing I want to do is we can put several things in dump chests. Let's see. We're going to start off with these assemblers. These guys can go into here. What's nice is that once we get requester chests, we're going to be able to do a recycling system here for a lot of things or buffer chests to do that. Uh, all right. Here's our dump chest over here. Do we have space? We do have some space. All right, let's put the furnaces in there. Fish we can keep. Sure. Take the wood, but I'll take one stack of coal. That's for fueling our trains. Now, the other stuff, like steel, that's a bit harder to put away. I'm, I might keep like one stack, but we're kind of at the point where we're automating everything, so we don't really need a lot of steel. So let's just put some in these different uh, assembly places and then just have like one stack on us. That that makes the inventory a lot less cluttered. Okay, you here, take these chips. Anybody need some copper cable? Hello, copper cable for sale. Aha, you need sticks and copper cable. No, you don't need copper cable. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> I thought you might. Um, but yeah, lamps here. Do we need anything else? No, but that, that definitely clears up stuff for us. Now, one thing we do need is pump jacks. Do we have those made yet? No, they are not made yet. Alas and alack. All right, that's fine though. Let's go ahead and repaste our blueprint because they should be kind of in this area, I think. If I remember correctly. And if I don't remember correctly, they won't be there. Ah, yes, here we go. Here we have the oil stuff. So 
We got our trains, um, but we are going to need these refineries in here. Wow, it's looking, it's just chucking stuff in here. Look at this crazy amounts of stuff. And that's really great. We have, do we have the, here we have these guys. We don't have any steel. Why is that? Um, hello? Why? Why no steel? Where? Oh, undergroundy. Missing. Okay, I see. Let's just make that undergroundy real quick. And nanobots should place it. There it goes. That's why there, I was like, hmm, it looks like it's there. But for some reason, it's gone. Yeah. All right, and take a half stack of those. Perfect. Nice, nice. Okay. Life is looking pretty darn good here. So, um, let's grab the rails and we can start thinking about how we want to do our train stations. Look at this chemical science pack. How fast is that? Boom. What did we just get? We probably just got sulfur or plastic, something like that. Oh, this is so good. Oh, I'm excited about this. Yeah. And all the labs are just charging ahead on this research. That's fantastic. All right. I want to grab um, train stations. Let's take a stack. Let's grab locomotives. I'll take one stack. I don't need two. Um, we're going to need something here. I don't know if we're going to need. We probably will need these guys. A few fluid, fluid wagons. And or let's see. What do we want to do here? This is a good good question actually because what we could do is we could bring the crude oil here that would simplify our lives immensely because if we make all the products over here then there are some products we'd have to ship by regular cars some by uh cistern cars or the the tanker cars so it's probably better just to load the oil here and then bring it to the base and then set up oil in a magical somewhere who knows where that's going to be uh it could be here though it depends on the cliffs the problem is there's a lot of cliffiness going on here we might be able to sneak in a rail line here possibly i think so i think that would be wide enough yeah it would definitely be wide enough um, we might have to move that whole line or we could go around it. We'll see. And then maybe we could build the oil here for now, uh, kind of behind the circuits. That's an option. Or, uh, alternatively, we could build it somewhere like here. This seems safe. There's a lot of trees over here that could kind of protect us or even somewhere like here. That wouldn't be too bad. Um, but I'm thinking here might be better just to like split some stuff off the bus here and uh and get things moving through that area there and then have items enter the bus through oh i don't know here this is okay so this is the mall area we have how many belt space only two belt spaces that's not a lot to get everything through however at some point this entire array is going to go away because we're going to be building lasers instead of turrets and bullets. So this is actually going to disappear. What? What? Huh? Hello? I was like, where did all the iron go? <laughs> yeah, the problem with the iron at the moment is just that uh, we don't have enough of it. So a lot is being used, as you can see, a lot for the um, different machines and the pipes and all this stuff being made gears and pipes especially this section over here you can see this is constantly moving and needing to be made looks like i need to do another oh i do have a splitter here a priority splitter so that that stuff gets some and then of course science is also getting plenty all right so nothing is suffering terribly at the moment i would like a radar up here because that's a tiny bit annoying uh all right so let's leave the uh, refineries in here for now, but I think we're going to grab these fluid wagons and I can actually put them back. Let's see. We only need, I don't know, four. I think four is enough to get the crude coming in. Now we have these. Let's go and grab some signals. We need, yep. Take all your signals. Thank you. And chain signals as well. I always like to have my signals over here. 
train tracks down there. Oopsies. No, that's not what I wanted. Thingy majingy. No, no. Um, I think we'll take... I usually have power poles up here. I don't know. Every time I play this game, I have a slightly different layout. And it's all about how you're feeling at the time, I guess. So here we have our signals, and then we have our tracks right there. Hey, looking good. Hey, this is exciting. Train land is coming. That's nice. That's actually really nice. I get excited for train land. All right. I want to put in a pistol here. I want to put in the extra heavy armor. That can go there too. Anything miscellaneous. And we'll also get rid of our steam engine clutter. We can call it that. Uh, as well as those uh, burner inserters and things as we walk by the other section. Let's go and put out a radar as well. You can see that on the mini map. You can see that blue square moving along. And I think we'll just put it... Where do we want to put this? Let's just put it kind of in line and we can have a proper... Uh, there we go. Right there. Yeah. Boom. That'll do. And then we'll take this power pole uh, line back to, or power line, I should say, back to our um, current area. And that will give us vision over that entire area. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, I think we'll have maybe petroleum coming in here. I'm not sure, but it seems like a good spot there. Now, what do we have down here that needs attention? It looks like these guys are running out. It looks like they, these have run out, so we need to change that, fix that. These are also very, very depleted. Dang, yeah, we're not getting enough um, production here at all. That's a tiny bit sad, but we can make some more lines there. What about down here? Anything run out? Not so far. Okay, good, good. How's coal doing? Um, coal not doing great. Not doing great as we see. Looks like we haven't been over there in quite a while. But we do have coal coming in from over here if we need it. Or we do have coal in a patch there if we need it. Alright, let's go back this way and then we can start our train expedition also kind of figure out where we want stuff that's i think that's probably one of the more difficult parts for me at least is figuring out where stuff should go like where do i want this station or where do i want something else and hopefully we'll be able to figure that out it shouldn't be too bad can i walk through here no of course not no of course not game Hello? Nanobots, wake up. There we go. There we go, my friendly nanobots. All right, more power. Now, don't be too concerned because we only use as much power as we need, not as much as we can generate. I think, let's see, if we... Wait, did we decide to put the oil over here or over here? Maybe here. I think here is better. So I'm thinking if we put our train tracks... Going to the right, we need to get around this cliff. This is kind of a big cliff. And I'm going to navigate from the main big map. Oh, we don't have any pump jacks. That's not good. Let's go get pump jacks. Let's get them. And I was thinking I might design a brand new blueprint for this series. Putting the train tracks three uh, train track tiles apart or six tiles apart. Uh, instead of having them two apart, just for usefulness. Uh, okay, so we have some of these. We do have two tanks. That is not ideal. Can I have more tanks, please? Hello. It's just taking forever, I see. Well, I could craft some. Let's see, how many tanks can I make with this? Let's see, five. We need to have... See, if we have four of those, we need two, so we need eight. So that's six. That's that's eight. That's eight if I craft those. Alright. 
Very nice. We're getting there. We're getting closer to being there, which is nice. So we're going to start off with this project. And we're going to we're going to create all of the blueprints from scratch for the rails even though I have them in my blueprint library. I want to show you how you can make them. Because that's the the fun part of Factorio is actually uh, exploring for yourself and kind of figuring out how you want to do things. I think what I want to do is go here. Um, I'm afraid I'll run out of nanobots now. No, I don't have that many of them. Okay, so this is just dead stuff. This is where I want to look on the map and get past this thing. Or I could just go to the right of that thing. What do we got? Oh, that's just... Okay, so let's start here. Let's just start. We're going to put this right over here. Oh, no, no, no. That's not what we wanted. Come on. Let's see. Now, there's two different ways you can place stuff. This is the easiest. You can either hold down as a square or... So like this and run. Or you can do the arrow thing, which is click, and then you can just place it. But it's limited range, as far as you can kind of reach. Uh, and of course, the other way is blueprinting. So we want to have these. I'm going to do these three apart. Now, typically, you want them at least two apart, like this. But I decided I'm going to try three apart, because I don't think I've tried it before. So let's go with that. Uh, it's because there's more room in between them. Now, we're going to start with a power pole here in the center. And this is going to be our, um, what do you call it? Like, copy point of, um, like, length. There we go, like this. Right, so let's take that one off. Now then, um, we do have some tech, but I don't really care. And the way I usually do this is put signals on either end of this. So we'll want a signal here. We're doing right-hand drive. So this is going to create one block out of this entire thing. So we'll have one, let's just put it right, um, bottom part of the power pole. So we're going to have this one going this direction. Uh, you can tell because as the train is driving, it's going to want to see a signal or a station on the right hand side. So we're going to go up on the right hand side and go down on the left hand side. So that's, uh, yeah, the, the driver is going to be coming down here and it's going to be on their right hand side. Or as we're doing this, of course, it is all about uh, robots because robots are powering our trains. Anyway, <laughs> let's put this here and hopefully this is going to create a blueprint that is, um, is tileable. So I also want to put a lamp here. And there's a couple of other things I want to put here as well. Uh, and then the other thing is to get a yeah red and green wire. So let's get those. Take this red wire. Now, I always put the wire. People ask me, why do I do this? I have done things in the past where I use the wire to send signals across long distances. And it's just easier if you blueprint this and just paste it down with everything because wire is absolutely free. The, the bots will place it for free and might as well have it. So this is there for future proofing basically. So grab your blueprint and we're gonna blueprint this thing. Okay. And we're gonna call this, I don't know. Let's see, uh, rail, rails, straight there we go yes and sure well actually we can put no we're not going to put an s because s i usually use for station so create a blueprint and let's see if this is tileable it is oh that's perfect now there is another thing that you can do with this thing now where did that blueprint go hello there it is i'm gonna put this here for now um Let's do this. Can we make a copy of this? We want to create a copy and put it right next to it. 
Now this thing is kind of interesting because what you can do is define a grid size and make it as you know big as you want and then have it be an absolute reference point. So if we want this to be tileable, what we want to do is include one of the power or two power poles, one of the ones at the end, but not the other. So we want to change this to Y, let's see, one, two, three. So we'll do 61. There we go, like this. So let's save this one. Okay, snap to grid value will be a mul multiple of two. Uh, oh, geez, okay. Well, darn it. 60 then, maybe? Sure, that's weird. All right, so let's see. If we do this, it'll kind of um, jump on the landscape. So let's see. If we place this thing down, though, it will do this kind of a thing, which is kind of interesting. I don't know if I actually like it because it does limit where you can put stuff on the landscape. I don't, I don't like that part of it. Um, someone says, oh, yeah, you can do this with your mole. And then I'm like, well, no, not really. Um, let's see. Can we take this thing apart? Let's just delete all this. And then delete this and delete stuff before it has a chance to get um, placed down by the bots. Okay, that's good. So if I put this down, I can't actually put it next to those cliffs. So this is, it, it has this kind of a grid thing. And I've tried fooling around with this. If you take off the grid size, then it doesn't do anything. And then, um, yeah, this, if you do the, the whole thing, it just will, you know, copy uh, two, two of the power poles, both power poles. So yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. If you want, if you have space where you have, you don't care where the tracks are, I guess that's useful. But like here, I really want to place it right next to there because that's efficient for me to put it next to these tiny little ravines like this. By the way, this is a great place to have turrets uh, because the biters can't get to them. Uh, they're completely surrounded. So anyway, I don't mind aligning these power poles because it's just fine. But you see how the red wires connect and it's not using anything from our inventory. Uh, let's go up, maybe. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this guy. So we don't need that one. And to save this blueprint into your library, just press B. And here's your library. This is your, the my blueprints, and I hate these names. I've, I've asked for this to be changed multiple times, but... I don't know. To me, game blueprints is the Factorio game, and my blueprints are my blueprints for the game. Uh, so they mean the same thing. But game apparently is this particular map. So it should be map blueprints. My blueprints is blueprint library. Um, so anyway, if you place this in your blueprints, that means it's stored here. That means it's also gone from your inventory. So let's also delete this one since that was a science that was temporary. Um, if you make changes to this blueprint from here, like there's a cool button that is select new contents. You can basically click that and then select anywhere on the ground and it will just copy what you have and then save it again uh, without changing any icons of the description or anything. Um, yeah, if you make any changes, it will change the one that you put into your library or in any of your books. So that's kind of important. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a brand new book called... This is going to be called Rails Quick 3. Uh, because my other one is Rails Quick and... Uh, let's see. Spa three, 3 space between rails. Uh, the other one is a standard of two. So we're just going to confirm this after I put a raily thing. I call it rails quick because I usually put it in my inventory. Um, but the thing is, is when you make these books and when you place stuff in the books, like if we move the rails straight into the rails quick three, um, it's going to be stored there. So it's... Um, it's now gone. That blueprint is not here anymore. It's now in the book, which you right click on. 
and you can use this book. So if I remove this now, do not delete this from your inventory or else it's going to delete it also from your library, like your permanent library. Yes, it will delete it. You just middle click it and it's off your hotbar. So this is a link, which I think this is not explained at all to beginners. So yeah, bear with me. So what we're going to do is put the Rails Quick book on our hotbar and I want to put it right here. So what happens is when we open the book, we'll be able to scroll through the different blueprints that we have in here. And we can put them in order any way we like with the squares, which is nice. Um, alas, there is no auto sort feature. So, um, but it's nice that we can change the order. That's, that's a very welcome thing. Um, but this is, this is going to link us directly to our library and any changes we, we put in there are also going to be kind of saved for us in our library. So as we move along, we're going to make uh, entrances and exits to stations, that kind of thing. And um, yeah, just keep on chugging along with this. So let us go. I think I want to actually it's, we can just kind of finish off this rail thing and then we'll should we come back? No, should we get some nanobots? We should get nanobots. I kind of wish there was um, <laughs> I want everything. I want a spider Tron. <laughs> I want cliff explosives. While we're looking at stuff, let us get some of the basic things made. We want to get explosives are good because they give us this access to this. So let's just start that. Batteries are a thing we need for many things, as you can see. So we want to start that research. Um, let's see. Stack inserters are going to be great, but we can't use them just yet. So we'll leave that for now. Lab research speed two is... Not necessary, but we can get it, sure. Mining productivity is amazing. So this is going to give us plus 10% automatic on all miners. So yeah, let's get that. And then the rest, we're starting to get into blue science now. That's kind of not ideal. So yeah, let's get that. I should have done the mining productivity first, I guess. But that's okay, no worries. So we have plenty of power. I'm gonna just go and get those nanobots real quick. And soon, trains, oh my God, trains are good. Trains are exciting. I wish I could have a train all the way into the base. And look, our pond is getting green, beautiful green. That's the beautiful green of pollution. Isn't that nice? Yeah, good stuff. <laughs> all right, let's take those 200 more nanobot capsules. Can we get more? Tiny bit more, okay, fine. Um, that'll give us a little bit of extra to play with as we go along here. Ah, oh, but it's exciting. Life is exciting. Oh, do we have any pumps though? No, we don't have any pumps. Oh, geez. Wait, maybe there might be some in the mall. Hello, mall. Hi. Do you have any pumps for us? Yes, you do. <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. See, past KOS thought of us. Mm-hmm. Good times. Anyway, let's finish Sorry, let's finish our rail line <laughs> before you determine that KOS has gone completely nuts. Oh, look, we didn't uh, we didn't hook up the power yet. Let's do that before I get comments. Because people will be like, you know, KOS, you built this thing, but no power. All right, here we go. Let's just get this hooked up there. And do I have enough for more pipes? Now, this is important. We need pipes to connect those oil wells together. So let's go and grab some iron real quick. Yeah, here we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, we got stuff now. This is great. Now I do want to try out something. I don't know if nanobots will work from a uh, locomotive, but we can try. So that way we can go along the rails faster. Do we have any green circuits? Yeah, we do. Okay. I was like, huh, do we have any? Because we need green circuits to make signals if we run out of signals. I really miss not miss having, I really miss having the personal delivery bots. Oh, hi. How did you get over there? Must've been when we deleted the other stuff. Okay. So, um, to get into this, you press enter. Um, and then you don't want to do any schedules initially when you're just doing this kind of thing you just put fuel in there which is wood or coal or whatever 
And one thing that I didn't do is hook up power, but I don't think I'm going to bother with that right now. Let's see. Nanobots, let's go. And it's W and S to move forward and backward within the locomotive. So let's go. There we go. There we go. Now, we do have a tiny issue called a patch over there of stuff. So I think I'm going to get out and I'm going to manually... No, 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 not there, not there. Hold on, hold on, thingy majingy. I want to make these go diagonally a tiny bit. I'm just going to walk and place these, and then we're going to just add on little bits. So let's just Q to pick up the rail, and then kind of look at what seems like three. Now, when I press shift that allows a ghost to be placed let's get in the train again and what we want to make sure of is getting these power poles placed down here oh 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 we missed one we missed one but we can put a ghost there and the bots will place it for us the nanobots okay diagonals are a tiny bit Interesting. Go. Okay. Nice, nice. Boom. Okay. Now then, uh, is that far enough? I think so. I think we actually want to go straight from here. Whoopsies. No, wrong direction. There we go. There you go, thingy. All right. And then I want to place my blueprint at the bottom here. This hot bar thing is almost too tall for a long blueprint like this. Let's get out and do this guy. Connect that down here. And there we go. Boom. Oh, oh, we have a tiny bit of a thing here. Whenever you get stuff like this, it's always good to remove these kind of things. Because it's a tiny break in the rails. Um, if you go up this, which you probably wouldn't because it's one way going down. But... Um, if you're driving manually, you can get stuck on these little spurs. So just carefully select it and remove it with right click. All right. Now I did notice that that my uh, colored wires are not connected, but at the moment I don't actually care. So because we don't have a project with them yet, but the, the most important is that the bulk of this stuff is done and if we connect wires later, we can always uh, just... Oh yeah, we didn't do those on the curve, so let's just do that. Make sure when you're putting these blueprints down that you're shift-clicking them. When you shift-click them down, it enables um, your bots... Well, if you're working with nanobots or regular bots, it enables them to deconstruct rocks and trees, anything else that you might have underneath them. Okay, this is actually great. The actual greatness is happening. Hooray! Okay, and that's actually all we need to do because the oil is right over there. Boom. Nice. Alright, so let's pick up our train and it automatically picks up the fuel as well. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to just leave this episode right here because we're at our destination and we have run out of time. If you've enjoyed this video, please do leave a like and subscribe to be informed of new videos. It is very, very much appreciated and helps me out a great deal. Remember to check out my KOS and Factorio merch and make your way to our Discord server to chat about the game, share ideas, and play on our community server. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.